Ranger Cookie, and this is Chop Shop. And I happen to be Jacko from Muddy Tiger Outdoors. How you doing, Jacko? Did I tell you what, Cookie, I'm very, very impressed to meet you here. You've been a fan of mine forever, and I appreciate you worshiping me forever. Oh, it's a lumber yes. Oh, yes, Jacko, sir. you're so cute. It just so happens I like another fellow. I think his name is Donnie Has a Weenie or something like that. He's, an, he's okay to um, watch. I really wouldn't, you know, it's don't waste your time on his channel. But I happen to be Jacko from Muddy Tiger Abby. Outdoors, okay? So, Abby. if you don't mind. Abby. Oh, crap. I gotta go now. Bye. Now, now that we got rid of the imposter, we're gonna get serious with the video. So, I'm Ranger Kooky, and this is Chop Shop Light Style. And so what you got on you, buddy, and this is... Wait, 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 well, who is this? This is the real Jacko from Lady Tiger Outdoors. I'm wearing the official hat. Nice to meet you, Mr. Ranger Kooky. And today we're going to be talking about... I had a cap, too. Flashlights. And today we're going to talk about... Wait, I didn't say action. Oh. Action. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about... Flashlights. At Chop Shop. So basically, Chop Shop is a you uh, where I take oh, God darn it, take two YouTubers and we go over some of these crazy lights. Damn, I see a little black thing in my like a, a, a one of them light things. Well, okay, all right, we're gonna talk about lights, why we like them, why we don't like them. For example, this light, I heard a lot of reviews by somebody does not like this light. The reason why, uh, now these batteries or a expensive expensive house that's like ten dollars or one or two yeah but the good function is you could put a three dash v boat battery in here we're going to look at all the lights we got all right what you got on your back my friend what is this what is this oh wait 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 a minute i found this in the woods somewhere oh you did so let's see what we got in here all right all right, what we got here is a big bag of flashlights and lights that campers, bushcrafters, and survivalists might need when they're out there in the woods. So I got a view for you. I got a question. So what kind of light would you like to have if you was out in the middle of the woods? Well, I would like to have two. One, to illuminate my camp, just to make sure that I know where things are. And two, a good, powerful flashlight. Just in case you hear something rattling in the woods, you can just point it out and illuminate it real quick. So. A lantern and a flashlight would be my ideal uh, combo. They got so many lanterns here. We got three types right here today. We had this little cheap Chinese thing for. Ew! Look, it got a compass on it. A compass on it. That's odd. And we got this. Uh... And we got this Lucy. I told my friends I'm buying four of these lights because these are a badass light. It works. It's solar power. Yeah, let's turn on some of these. This one is kind of nice because you, you get a dimmer. You know, you start low and then you can increase the, the luminescence. But you're a packer, so would that be too heavy for you? Too heavy, absolutely. This this weight's probably more than my cook it. How about this one? Maybe this will work. This one is a lot lighter. This a lot doable. You can hang it by your uh, hammock or on your ridge line. And, yeah, I've seen the Lucy lights. It charges from the sun and it's really bright and it compacts in a little. God damn it. Oh well. It's, it's inflatable, right? Yeah, it's I've inflatable. I've actually never seen one of those. This is the best light. Uh, there's different colors, folks. I want to let y'all know there's a green one. You want to get the green one. When you go to your store or your bushcraft or link, make sure you get the, gr the green one. Donnie Paolini showed me this, and so my friend the Grumpy. He said the green one lasts longer and charges better. What do you think about that? That's pretty neat. What's the difference between the green one and the other one? I think the the green one takes a better charge and lasts longer. Okay. I think there's like three uh, light system. I'm sorry, doing all right. 
bright dim mm -hmm. and flashing yeah so if you're in the middle of the woods this is light as hell is this yeah. air compactable I, and compact any other suggestions about that not really i mean I've, I've never seen one of these and i don't know what they're all about but it looks like a nice idea oh it is trust me you were, i'm buying four of them babies but i was told to make sure always keep at least one i'm a car capture i'm a hiker i do all types of bushcraft when i go out in the woods i bring some lights but this is my car capping light i was told to at least keep one battery operated light with you case this didn't charge and there's a little power thing that says how charge you got yeah this one's two and it goes all the way to three so it tells you how much light it charge then for me i got this baby it's a little heavy it takes 3 dc d 3d batteries and is motion section section so what you think about this light Parker? i think it's you know, it's a concept that I would never have thought of, but it uh, it definitely works. I mean, if you're out in the woods and you don't, you know, you just want some kind of security just in case you're in bear uh, bear country or coyote country, that's different. And it's also a weapon. It's heavy enough to knock somebody out. So you can just come across <laughs> no, and boom, no, 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 knock somebody out. So self-defense, absolutely. And it went it went on in here a few seconds ago. It's so dark. Look, look at. It. Yeah. <sighs> All right, now we got. This big monstrosity. Watch what your is that? See, they got two types. You got one, they got the little rubber bands, you got a little hook. You unhook it and unhook it on both sides. Mm -hmm. And you hang it on your on top uh, of your uh so it's like an overhead light. And you can put this on your car. Tick. Got it. And it's pretty bright. We're gonna do a light review. Wait a minute, the sun's out. Oh well we're gonna figure it out. Now here is something for your flashlights or if you have a chargeable batteries like I do. I have a cellar, portable cellar battery charger for my batteries. So what do you think about that? Actually, I use something like this and it definitely, mine is not just for batteries like for the phone or for, um, you know, other USB power stuff. But this solar power, you can't go wrong with that. You can depend on it, but it's definitely a great uh, concept. I like it. Now, during Christmas, now remember, always go to your Walmart or your stores because they always bring out extra stuff during Christmas. This is a Christmas light. Mm -hmm. Now, you can take this and wrap it around your bush chair or your hammock where you can see mm -hmm. it's bright enough. We're going to do a little test tonight. What do you think about this? It's light. I think Look it's it. nice. I've been wanting to get something like this uh, just to kind of put around the ridge line. That would be awesome. Just to kind of string it up and, and have a little... It, it's, it's almost like a mood light, you know, it just yeah. kind of makes you feel nice and, and warm. And, and it gives you enough light for whatever you want to yeah. do that night. And this one looks like it's on a wire, so you can manipulate it and twist it and Yeah, put it wherever it you around. want it. Yeah. Now, we got, we got different types. This is the colorful one. If you was going car camping, yeah. it's the same concept, but it's on a, it got colors. Green, red, white for Christmas. Yeah, that's definitely a Christmassy thing. I could got got all orange, huh? It'd be really for Halloween for yeah. us. Now, this is my lights I always use. Right here. These are rechargeable. I plug a, uh, my plug in, and I got some good bright light. It's almost like Q-beams, and it, you'll see it later on. Nice. What you think about these, baby? They're nice. Very and nice. they take those weird batteries. Now, is this so you can control the beam? Yes, correct. Okay. This one has the same thing right here. Yeah. So it just makes it wider and wide and narrow. And these two take the eye zoom. I don't know if y'all seen these before. 4.2 volts and 2.5 uh, volts. Now, does this have different modes or is it just one mode? It's uh, low and dim. So, okay. I, and these last me three days while I'm out here at the VU or every time I go camping, it lasts me three or four days. Yeah. It never goes dead. That's I mean, for self-defense. True. That's the blinking. That did blink. There, it does blink. All right. Now, before we go any further, we have the big monster. They got different sizes. You can get, this is a 12,000 B aluminums. It's pretty bright. 
and it has a little stand so and you can lock the light to wherever you want yeah so what you think about that my friend you know for this the, I, I like to see these as big as they are with a crank i you know uh, so you can kind of crank it i don't know this makes me okay so this is what it, it makes me think of one of those alien guns with the sight <laughs> you know because it's kind of that shape that futuristic from the 1950s look it's like a ray gun right it, with sides integrated now here's the most important thing before we go any further we'll go ahead and bring out the yes the lights night sticks yes this is a army graded i got it from an army friend army graded uh night stick he told me this were the m and &E cannot see you from a far distance and they last for a long time i think 24 was, hours depends yeah. on the uh the yeah. chemicals and what they buy i've they used those before they work great now i'll show you something very important you might i don't know on your package when you buy your light it tells you how many aluminums how the distance how many hours and uh, uh, that um, what, what does it say? Rebound. FL, what is that? I guess the oh, I guess it's the reflection. Yeah, how far it bounces off yeah, every day. Yeah. So once you look at that, I'm gonna get you a good close shot of this. <clears throat> See right here it shows you the aluminums, how bright it is, how many hours, and the distance. Now it's important for you. I'm going to show you another little box how important it is for your lights. It says 5 hours and 15 minutes. Over here it says 5 hours and 15 minutes. Some of these lights last 12 to 24 hours. That's very important to a survival situation. If you buy a light that has a billion light aluminums and it only lasts 2 hours, that light is worthless. Unless you keep it on the side for emergency use yeah. only. Yeah. That is very important when you as a survival bushcrafter, you go in the middle of the woods, make sure your hour is at least five hours or more. Six hours is perfect because the sun goes down, it's six hours before the light comes back up. So it's very important to make sure you get a light that lasts at least five or six hours or more. Mm -hmm. Now, I can understand this, power, this light lasts two minutes, but it's so bright, it will take down anybody. And when you put it in that blinking mode, that's, yeah. that's that may be, be the only thing you need that light to last two hours for well, security. And you know, it's got these ridges, so you can potentially strike with it. So it's, it's a, it's a self-defense weapon as well. So there you go. This is Chop Shop. You have any uh, flaws or... Not really. It looks like you're covered in, in, in very good points, so great job. Who the hell was that? That's the imposter again. That was the freaking imposter. I hope y'all learned something. Um, you have any negative thoughts about any of these lights, maybe? No. Or? And, well, the only thing that I would think is one weight. Very important for me because I carry light. Uh, so some of these things are, are, are Way definitely heavy. heavy. And, of course, the alien gun. That's definitely a heavy gun. Oh, 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 right. There you go. Oh, and by the way, this might be. This is a gift. Oh, nice. Uh, from Phillips. These are cost a dollar at the Dollar General, and it's just a little bitty, 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 bitty light. And the battery's dead, and the batteries on these things are weird. That might cost like twenty bucks for that little thing, but. This is good for emergency situation light. I'm probably got it inside back here. It's what's firing up. Mm. You know what they are? They're um, they're watch batteries. Yeah, but still they cost. Yeah, me. they, they, they can get expensive. But this is good to clip on your bag because when I go camping, I have one or two of these on my bag and one small flashlight in my bag. Then I got my headlamp versus and a headlight. I got a question for you, my friend. Mm -hmm. Do you use a headlight or you use a hand? hand uh... I I tend to switch, and I actually have uh, this right here. The same brand, and they work great. In fact, I don't know if it's the same exact model, but you have a red light, and you have like three modes of brightness, so they're actually great. Not oh, red lighting. right now we need darkness. Let's make it happen. 
Ready? On three. One, two, three. Clap on. Wait, wait. No. I clapped once. You, you know the clapper. It's clap on. I can't do it again. My turn off the light. Yeah. So we have to do it together. All right. All right. Clap on. Oh, wait, clap. <laughs> All right. Let's All right. do it this time. All right. right. On three. One, two, three. Clap, clap on. on. Clap, clap off. On. Clap on. Went, it, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> It worked. This sun was Look out it. like that. Yep, it's gone. Watch out, you flat earthers and you bastards. <laughs> so we're going to do our test. We're going to finish our test to see how bright these lights are. Because lights are important for us bushcrafters, survivors, whatever you're going to do camping. Because you need a light. You might fall in a snake pit or something. That's yeah. bad. That's awful. You don't want to fall in a snake pit. Yeah, the, these are not cat eyes. They're really human eyes. And believe it or not, the camera doesn't absorb or draw the light like our eyes do. Like taking a picture of the moon. It's a yeah. dot. Yeah. But our eyes see that thing like this. Alright, let's do it. Let's turn off some lights so you can see the lights. Alright, this is my headlight, which is no good for us. We're going to turn it off. Alright, now, you turn. Am I sure what the item is? This is, oh, oh, there you go. This is that lantern we showed you earlier. And we're going to turn it on. Then we're going to do the lucid light. So, there you go. If we hang this up, more light will be shining. Yeah. So, what do you think there, buddy? Yeah, the, and the nice thing about that is, again, I like the, the fact that it's you, you can dim it down. That's pretty bright. All right, look at the ground. Yeah. All right, I know the light can't, the camera can't do focus or uh, what you call, uh, I forgot. Give it, give it. Oh, it doesn't absorb the light completely. That too. Plus, you don't give it a good quality view than yeah. a human being's light. Yeah. Oh, I broke. Okay, now we got the Lucy light. He wants to try that son of a bitch so bad. Light. All right, we're going to find the button. Bam. There you go. Check it out. Check that light out. Oh, yeah. You know what? This is a lot brighter than that. Isn't oh, yeah, it, it is. Because the reason why that one's brighter because they don't have a bottom to it. Now, all right, now we got that little bitty lantern that we showed you later. Yeah, this mo go. this thing has three modes. Uh, dim, bright. Oh, yeah, yeah. And flashing. That. Gotta get so close to the camera to see this stuff. All right, now the little bitty light. This is dirt cheap. This is pretty bright LED lights. And look at the ground. Now the flaw is about the bottom. I noticed the uh, Lucy light gives you a good bottom view, yeah. but this one blocks it. Yeah. Good around view. Now, let's take out the 2,552. The alien blaster. Let's see how far it goes. All right. That stands. Uh, that's pretty far. And let's go out. We'll see. He's got a very focused beam too, so it's nice. And let's go up there. Look, I see a coon. And that's the Q beam. You can get different types of Q, Q beams. I'm gonna turn on the light. Close your eyes. There you go. Whoops, right. I make sure we're on focus. Right You're good. We good. Now, now, this is the Q beam that sucker could see far away. Yeah. You yeah. See bears, cares chickens Powerful. that chicken might pluck your eyes out or a squirrel <laughs> all right now look at this break this thing is yeah close your eyes or oh holy cow all right look I what it does play. look the damage what it does yeah and look at this yeah you can split it nice you can split this doing a light view at night is kind of hard we need reflected tape to really do yeah. its justice yeah. but if you can watch him how bright he is let's see if I can find you okay there there there's my target let's see if I turn my lights off you can barely see him but our human eyes can see him really good don't move sucker I, <laughs> I'll blow your head off okay come on back that's the 
and come down. Look at us. This is rechargeable. That will take overnight to recharge, but they got like a thousand LEDs. Okay, next item. Now, they got my two favorite lights from my vest. Let's take a look at these two. I mean, I know one needs a charge. Let's see how bright these babies are. Take a look at Stan's. Good. Look at Stan's camp. I know the lights don't didn't do it justice. Yeah. That's what I was trying to figure out. Well, it's kind of nice that you can focus the beam. And this is the wide beam. Yeah. Holy cow. And this is the beam to go across the lake if I want it to go across the lake. Now this is my second flashlight. This is the Oh, and it flashes. This is for good for A lot of people complaining about these flashlights that those a flash. All right. You know what that's really good for? For two things. To uh, get somebody's attention for it to save you. And the second, if you turn on one of these and it's bright as hell, you will put somebody down in a seizure. All right, here's my uh, my scorpion. My scorpion light. It does the same thing as the other light. It goes into a beam. Right now it's kind of dead, but it's almost like the other light. And it opens up a wide beam but see this one has a halo outside yeah i don't know if that's good or bad all right then i forgot to get batteries the other things that's about it we got the oh we got no batteries that then we got the small hand pocket light with a couple of LEDs on the top, but this is only good for walking through a trail, and that's about it. This is this all is good. It's a uh, Dory, Dory, Deary, Deary. How you say that word, Davey boy? Dorsey. Dorsey. Look at we got a Dorsey light. <laughs> so this thing's not that bright, but it's good for trail. Yeah. Or around the camp. Yeah, basically. You know, around and. That's all you. This is good. It's. It takes three or four AA batteries. Yeah. And that's it. And look down here below, some of this stuff reflects. So if you're in the woods, see how it's reflecting? Yeah. Yeah, because if you didn't have that, there's as camo as it is, you lose it. Yeah, you lose that baby. And I want to show you this box where my light came from. It's a. And one more light we forgot. And it comes with three types of lights, all rechargeable, a little big battery. And we got this thing. You no can see. Activated. You can see everything. Let's turn off this light. Damn, you can see what's his name? Jacko. Walk out there. Jacko! Walk out some. I tell you when to stop. Right there, I can't see you with the camera, but I can see you. Don't move, you son of a bitch! Don't you dare move, oh bugger! Move! Well, so Jacko, all these lights you see down below, we can just talk about that because they can't see us. So, what light do you recommend for your your type for you and your for yourself and or your subs? What would what light oh, would you do? This one is is. Probably my top choice. The what is it? The, the Lucy. Yeah, that's yeah, the Lucy. This is this is, this is a, a, a a killer. Now there is different color tops. Make sure you get the green one. The green one's better quality, according to my other friend named Dolly Palladini, but Dolly Valizini of Roccaroni, and it's inflatable. Get a little closer so your viewers, my viewers, and your viewers can see. There that is go. obviously the blue top. Yeah, that's right? the blue top. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, my friend Grumpy's. I'm just using it as a uh, sample. Yeah. But three of these will light your camp up yeah. really big. Yeah. The light, the camera will not do justice for it, so you won't be able to see it. But you can take this man here. Um, he will tell you he, it's it does a good job. Oh yeah, I like it. And not only that, the, the weight. It's a lightweight thing and solar powered. Yeah, so, so there you go, great folks. Little choice for a hiker. And there you go, folks. All right, this is Chop Shop.
and this is hey Ron, hey Ron, we gotta finish this one up take it from ranger kooky and jack over muddy tiger outdoors this is chop shop i hope you enjoy uh chop shop of the light series yes so uh, i'm gonna find somebody else to do chop shop with machetes Grumpy! damn you boy all right <laughs> I'll see you later. Uh, thank you for I, uh, I coming to me as my guest. And um, I'm just glad to meet him. Absolutely. So there's a shout out for this man. Go watch his videos. <laughs> Pray for all the...